Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you my top recommendations for men's fragrance gift ideas. So before I get into my selections, I just wanna quickly mention some fragrances that are very popular, that are very good, that I'm gonna leave out of this video even though they're very, very good. They're just overdone, they're very popular, they've been talked about a million times and I just don't wanna like repeat the same thing over and over again. I'm sure you guys have already heard it, so I'm just gonna go through them super quick. We know Aventus by Creed, that one has been like the most popular forever, so everybody knows it. It's, it's amazing, it's very expensive, very, very good. Um, Sauvage, as much as I hate to say it, it's versatile, it's clean, it's likable. Bleu de Chanel, um, Yves Saint Laurent, L'Homme, and La Nuit de L'Homme, those are very nice as well. Those are all very, very popular fragrances and very mainstream already. So my list is gonna be comprised of fragrances that I think are very versatile, very suitable for any age, um, any occasion, any season, and will probably be liked by anyone that you get them to. And might be ones that you haven't heard of before actually. So I'm gonna get into it. These are in no particular order. They're just kind of what I pulled after I thought about my list for a really long time. So I took a lot of time to comprise this list for you guys. And um, my very first one that I wanna talk about is Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. This one is, it does have similarities to Sauvage, but this one is so much more refined and more sexy. It has a prominent note of lavender. So it's like a aromatic fougere, like a, like a type of barbershop scent, but it's more modernized. It's like, it will go like well with any kind of man, anybody like younger, older, like it's very work appropriate. It's date appropriate. It's just like very, very versatile and likable. Um, this is like, I see this on a kind of man that, you know, just takes a shower in the morning and like he means business and he's like ready to go. Just like a very manly man. And I love this fragrance. It's very good. You can't really go wrong with this one. Um, the next one is going in a completely different direction. Like not completely, but it's for the younger crowd, I would say. You guys are going to think I'm super cheesy, but I've loved this fragrance forever. And... <laughs> it's Versace blue jeans it's like it's my favorite it's just so like it's so cozy it's so like it's so inviting you know it's definitely I, I would say it's a little bit for the younger crowd so I would say probably for a guy in their late teens like whatever in their teens um 20s like like probably max like late 20s maybe early 30s I wear this one myself um, it's just so yummy. Like, it's just so good. It's very just like, it makes me smile every time. And I don't know if it's just like nostalgic associations I have with this one because it was so popular when I was in high school, like 15 years ago. <laughs> so it could be that, but I just, I don't know. I just think it's amazing. Let me know what you guys think in your comments below, because I don't know if I'm the only one that's obsessed with this. I'd like to know. Am I crazy? And yeah, so this one, super yummy it's got the vanilla and the lavender in here is so good pretty sure there's tonka bean in here as well it's just like it's warm but it's good for spring too i think so this one for the younger guys and guys if you wear this on a date with a girl i'm pretty sure she's gonna like you more so you can't really go wrong with this one either um and then the next one is boss bottled intense and this i feel like it has the vibe of like a grown-up version of versace blue jeans so this one i think it's the vanilla note that's in here that um is similar because this one's warmer like it's more i sprayed that right in my face it's got more apple and cinnamon, but it also has that nice vanilla. So it's not like, I'm not saying this is not gourmand in any way. It's not like an apple pie that you want to eat. It's like a, it's like a manly apple pie. It's just like, it's just somewhere in there that it reminds you of a nice warm apple pie. But this fragrance is so sexy. This is like, it's good for anyone for sure. Um, careful wearing it to work because it, like for me, it's super sexy. Like I just want to get closer when I smell this on a man. So use caution at work um i would be in a lot of trouble if men wore this often because it's so sexy i just love it and it's good for anyone so definitely 
I don't know. Do you guys think this has any similarities to Versace blue jeans? Like, am I totally out of my mind today? Let me know. Um, by the way, if my eye looks red, it's because I used an eyelash glue that I bought from AliExpress. So I know it looks super red. Just want to address it so you guys don't think I'm up to any funny business and I don't have pink eye. Just like don't buy eyelash glue from AliExpress. Seriously. Um, but anyway, the next one, uh, since we're talking about sexy fragrances, I'm going to mention Histoire des Parfums, and this is Hemingway. So it comes in a really cute package like this. I was so impressed. It looks like a little book, and it matches the whole history theme. And so, yeah, so it's $18.99, a.k.a. Hemingway. And this one to me, like, I'm not going to spray it in the air because I already sprayed two, and it's just going to get overwhelming in here, but I'm going to smell it as a lid. It's like a creamy, woody, like, fresh, spicy. Um, it has like spice bomb vibes but it's so much better like it's very very refined it's very classy and very attractive like this i see on a man who's very well put together in a suit like this is really really good for dates um get this for your guy that you want to go on dates with because it's going to be amazing smelling this it's super cozy and um i just see it on like a like a nice date downtown somewhere at an expensive like dimly lit place and just the guy's like super hot in a suit and it's just so good and you know what else it smells like is initio rehab if you guys have heard of that one people have made comparisons between that and spice bomb and i think this one is right in there with the two and it's n like it's not worse than initio rehab at all i i'm not sure if i prefer it to me they smell like 85 percent alike like they're almost the same to my nose because i only have a small sample of rehab um, but yeah, I find them extremely similar, similar, but I do find this one way better than Spice Bomb. Like Spice Bomb's on the low end of the price scale. This one I think is like about, like I paid for the 15 mil, I think about $40 Canadian. And then I think the hundred mil is like, you can probably find it online for like 130. Um, but yeah, this is amazing, like super sexy. And I think any man would enjoy wearing that. And I would probably say 25 plus because it's just so classy so histoire des parfums and hemingway my next ones are probably gonna be a surprise and they're zara fragrances and i have rich leather and gourmand leather and they're both amazing so rich leather has aventus vibes it has the same pineapple note and a lot of people do make comparisons with this in Aventus and it does certainly have a similarity in a way I prefer this more I think just because I smelled Aventus so many times it's just so overplayed like everyone is wearing it but this one's a little bit different and it lasts long it smells delicious it's amazing it's a great work fragrance it's great for layering the the leather note that's in here is quite soft but like super sexy like very very versatile good for anyone and it's just a very very good fragrance and then the next one is gourmand leather and this one has jean-paul gaultier ultra male vibes so this one's like for a player like i see this like on a guy who's you know he likes to go on dates and he like thinks a lot of himself like very very attractive like takes care of his looks and then this has it's a little bit sweet the like the fact that it's called gourmand leather like really puts me off because that's like it sounds like leather that you can eat which is just, which is gross like this is not that this is just i think it's only got three notes i think it only has iris leather or suede and bergamot and then that's it so yeah it's got like a subtle sweetness to it but like a very confident fragrance very very attractive as well so these i think canadian are 29.99 or 29.90 each but you can get them both in a box hang on i'll show you the box so the box looks like this and it comes with both of them and it comes with like a little ribbon that goes across excuse my nails um so yeah so you basically like your gift shopping's already done and it's packaged and yeah uh zara ships for free if you purchase over 50 dollars at least <laughs> like every video i drop something seriously um but i caught it yeah 50 bucks they'll ship it to you for free um so yeah that one i mean the two you can't go wrong with either of them and then my final one is the most expensive one and it is amris um by maison francis Cardian. and this one 
by composition isn't anything unique, but it is so well blended that like it's like a it's like a warm freshy is what it smells like to me and very attractive like super classy like this is for a guy that is like probably 30 plus just like has everything together you know has like is very successful just like very well put together and it's just amazing like it's it's very expensive and it smells very expensive and it has a note of amorous which I didn't know what amorous really was so I looked into it and it's like aka the American sandalwood it's like a blossom like a like a tree or an herb but it's a component in there that makes this unique it's also got tonka in there that warms it up and I think it's got a coconut even though I cannot smell the coconut I think it adds to the uniqueness of the composition so yeah like looking at the notes didn't seem like anything special to me but like it's got a subtlety but it's also got power and yeah this one's amazing so I hope you guys enjoyed my recommendations and I hope that whoever gets these gifts absolutely love them and let me know what you guys think what are your top picks for gift ideas for men or for women and thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!